Hi guys, welcome back to Chit Chase Vibes. I know you've missed somebody already. It's been like a year and how many months? Well, yeah, let's introduce our guest today. Sorry, guest, can you tell us who you are? Hello. <laughs> My name is Adama. For the first time, she's seen her name, and it's actually her name. Because I'm a brand now. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now sugar and spice and everything nice. Hey. ABJ, your link up. The link my handle will be <laughs> right here she will insert it right here <laughs> okay yeah, so you guys we're back to our uh, updates on moving back to nigeria so can you tell me what has changed so far <sighs> um the last video we filmed was a while ago yeah to be that's... honest but um a lot has happened a lot has happened a lot has actually happened since then Oh, how? Why don't you start? NYC, Don and Dostesh. Yeah. for us. We did it. You know? In the bag. But then the sad part about it is, if they don't retain you, <laughs> you'll be here in house of jobs. You'll <laughs> be between jobs. <laughs> and people are in between jobs. Things have not really changed that much for me, Sha. Like, the still, I'm still seeing the still. Like, Internet wahala. internet wahala. Apparently, they're bringing, they're trying to improve internet, like that the Google station I was talking about. But there's only particular places, which is annoying. What else? What else? Shitty people and their behaviors still the same. <laughs> bank. Uh, bank wahala never changes. Never changes. What else? I think the frustration is not there anymore as hmm. it used to be. Like. It's still presented for you. <laughs> I feel like I've got so used to it, so I've learned to stop complaining sometimes. But mm. another time, I just rant or challenge people. Like, why is it like that? Why would you say that? I think that's it. So, what's your frustration so far? There are a lot. It's a what? lot of frustration. Fresh food. food. No, it's not even. Okay, it's more about like. Um, people in the service sector. For example, we brought a DSTV, supposed DSTV man, to come and put a remote blaster in my room. The guy, everything he brought to my house was fake. And he collected real money. But you're giving me fake tools. Like, nigga, what? Everything. It was such a big scene in my house. Apparently, he was there fighting one man in my house. How can I pay you in full? And then everything is fake. Nothing is working. And you're proud, arguing, ah, this is how it is. Like, no, it's not how it is. Other people have the remote blaster and it's working. Why is your own case different? And he collected the money with no shame. Nigerians, okay. it's, it's just annoying, man. There's no honesty. Actually, it's true. No honesty. Like, straight up, be like, okay, this one I have is the China version, and you still want it. It's even this. I told you about my phone screen. Now. Yeah. They changed my phone cracked. The screen cracked, and then I went to change it. Only for them. After they changed it, too, the guy was on. I I unlocked it. I saw the quality. Like the picture was so pixelated. I'm like, ah, is this still the same iPhone? Like, did I go back to iPhone 3? Like, nigga, what? And he said, oh, you know, eh, it will never be the same. Why didn't you tell me that before you took off my real screen? Let me now make the decision, like, okay, do I want to go 10 years back with the iPhone? Yes, you just yes. changed it and said, oh, this is how it is. They just want your money, basically. Because, like, let's say when I, if you go somewhere and ask someone, okay, do you have milk in this product you're selling? They will tell you no. So that die. you buy it. The way you now eat to realize they have milk in, you can't return Why not? It. Like, there's no honesty. They're just, everybody's just trying to make money. Or they want to sell something to you. Yeah. Just say the truth. Okay, this but is like, fake. Let me now make the decision to be like, okay, even though it's not real, it's in my budget, let me still buy it. Exactly. But don't just try to be deceitful about it. Just, oh, buy, buy it. It's, it's, it's authentic. Come on, buy it. You will like it. And tomorrow you won't repeat business. Nobody will come back to you. That's true. 
Oh, and the picking on you for schooling abroad does not change. It's still going oh, to yeah, be the same be there, Even at work. They even at work. Point that fact out. Uh, mm. They're not like us now. I don't think the same way we think because it's cold. Are you foreign, foreign this one, foreign that? But then sometimes it's actually really, it, it's like a compliment. I remember this one time they gave me a task to do, and before they could blink, I'd already finished the task. Hey, see this one? You can tell that she went to school abroad. Very efficient. I was just smiling, really like. <laughs> and sometimes it's a compliment. Other times it's like, okay, it's not my fault. Like, God gave me the opportunity. So I went abroad. Yeah, you shouldn't now come and be. Then some will be angry at you because you schooled abroad. Why can't you school in Nigeria? I know means to help your country. I can school abroad and come back and help my country now. There is no rule that says if you school abroad, you can't help your country. Or the ones that ask you where's your accent? Inside my pocket. <laughs> I bring it out during special occasions. You know what I mean? Nothing. Alright. Okay. okay. <laughs> It's so annoying. Mm. Traffic is another thing. Mm. Ah. I can't relate. She I can't relate. She I can't, came here. I don't, live, I don't live in Lagos. <laughs> wow! Okay, Abuja traffic is not as bad as Lagos traffic. It can never be. Even on the day if all of us are running away from Abuja, it will not be as bad as Lagos traffic. See how they're insulting us. Kai! Man, from the airport to where I was staying, I, Kai, I could have gone to Kaduna relaxed eating in fact it took me a shorter time to fly from abuja to lagos and to get from lagos to lagos mm. what will i try and then she's complaining about how lagos is too hot because it's hot yeah. in abuja so like can you see this tank top like i came with jeans i just left everything in my suitcase it's not worth it when you come to go just bring a spaghetti top and makeup there's no need swear to kill you if you don't do makeup and go out your eyebrow will be down here by the end of the day. Yes. I don't know how you guys are doing it though. It's a bad. I don't. It's a bad. What else is there again? Like, I don't know. Do you think Nigeria is that bad? No, no, no. I love Nigeria. Like, would you rather stay outside or you stay in Nigeria? That's a tough question to answer. <laughs> Depending on the opportunities. If I have a good job here, I meet the love of my life here. You know stuff like that and i don't necessarily have a reason to go abroad yes, but if yeah. those opportunities are presented there i don't have a reason to stay here so for me it's the opportunity not necessarily the place you know what i mean yeah i feel like you can actually survive nigeria uh -uh. Like the other people that survive it. no no has a problem with complaining nigeria is horrible right. nigeria is this and some people they'll just go to london for five days <laughs> oh my god in nigeria <laughs> i'm like shut up you lived here 20 some years. <laughs> Five days. Nigeria is shit. Like, Which do you think is harder? Like living abroad or living in Nigeria? Depends on where you've lived longer. Because that's what you'll be used to. Mm -hmm. So if I've lived in London all my life and I moved to Nigeria, it will be harder. If I've lived in Nigeria all my life and I moved to London, it will be harder. Because you're used to. Yeah. Certain things. I know if I leave Nigeria, I'm definitely going to miss the food. Oh, carry the, I'm sure your mom will bring all the ingredients. No, no. Oh, yes, I don't think she doesn't like. You need to carry them to crayfish, chef. Because I realize the taste is different. The taste is in the difference, and the, the difference, difference is in the taste. In the menu, though. I realize there's so much difference in taste. And sometimes I feel like, because when, when I was talking to somebody and he was like, don't listen to it and they never tell you the truth. <laughs> the people that are abroad are always saying, oh, abroad is the best, you should come and live here, live Nigeria. They're like, if you think about it, sometimes the salary you're earning in Nigeria is going to be, is more and better in Nigeria than when you travel. You have less, less bills now. Yeah. You have less bills. So, hmm. they're telling you that they just want to come and suffer with them. <laughs> That he is never going to travel abroad. His life is in Nigeria. I'm just like, wow. There are rare people like you in this Nigeria. Everybody mm -hmm. wants to run. Because everyone thinks the grass is greener on the other side. Yeah. That's why you have a lot of people that now end up moving abroad and doing, what do they call them? Menial jobs, like cleaning and stuff. You could be a king in your own country. That's true, sure. What else? I get my mindset has definitely changed. Come, like, you know, when you come back, you're still trying to find your feet, trying to know what next to do. You know, trying to become a person in the, in back home. 
because I mean, quite frankly, by the time we all went, like when I went to uni, I was 16. I was not a person yet. <laughs> so you're coming back for the first time as a full grown woman. And you now have to sure. figure that out. So yeah, it's been a whole long year. Of struggle. And growth. Yes, true. There's been so much growth. You've learned a lot. Nigeria teaches you so, so much, many things. So much growth, man. And definitely, yeah, my mind is in a different place. Always on to the next thing, like how fine you have not you're not in the best of situations. How do you make the best of that? That's where I'm at. Like, okay, the internet isn't fast. How do I make the best of that? How many internet services should I buy at once? <laughs> Which one I'll just you know, so like, actually do settle. Yes. That's the thing, it pushes you. Nigeria Loki pushes, not Loki, high key pushes you to survive and look for alternatives. Yeah. That's what my cousin was saying. You have not found a job or your job then is at a point with. you find something. Like so, Nigeria yeah. will push you to the do something. The hardships force like it forces a lot of things. It's, it's not, not a lie. Like, it's not a lie, like you just chill There's so like many you. examples, man. So many. If they can't employ you next thing, you buy stuff from all, all these Chinese websites come and start selling it. Yes, make you small money. You understand? There's always there's a drive. Someone that knows someone can't come will direct you. Yourself. Link you. I, that's like the motto. I can't come and kill myself. Mm. You get a job today, they suck it tomorrow. Ah, on to the next. You can't you sit down there and be something. While you're between jobs, you find something to you do. You're looking for something that will you. My mind on my money. <laughs> my mind on my matter. Uh, me, my mind is on my money. Any, any uh, way to make money. No, any no, no, good no, no. way. Yes, I'm exactly. Like, <laughs> I'm not going to go and start selling body parts and <laughs> st stealing pants. No. No, no, no. Good, noble ways I'll be able to be, I'll be proud to say, oh, mom, this is what okay. I'm doing. And she'll be like, oh, my daughter. Not shady ass ways, man. I was also talking to my friend and he was saying the same, don't worry, the same person, mm -hmm. He was like, you know when you stay abroad and you're schooling, mm -hmm. it's different from when you're working. But we fail to understand that yeah. because abroad, that is paying or mommy is paying for your fees. Mm. They're paying for your accommodation. Pocket money. They're paying pocket money. They're paying for everything. So you're just living life. The money you make if you have a job is maybe to buy handbag. Yeah. To go out. It's not. That's not what you're solely surviving on. Exactly. Until you stop <laughs> school and start working. And then when I mean when you start working, you have your own apartment. You're not staying in daddy's apartment too. Like that is rented house, you're not staying in it. So that's what I'm trying to say. So low key, it is so that's when you think about it that ah, life abroad was better. You might be like, nah, try living there as an adult. Yes. It's different. You're not depending on anyone. That is not paying for your rent, that you is know, not paying yeah, for anything. It's different. Then you see how difficult and hard it is. And if they're not paying you as much as as much as how you want to live your lifestyle yeah, yeah. yeah. it's going you have to, to drive cut you. back on so many things and then you can't even hustle much there's so many there because they have laws yeah so you can't just wake you. up and just be like okay i'm going to start a business cooking you need licenses you need all of that like yes. even to do hair you can't just wake up and say i'm going to be a hairstylist in the salon you need a license you need what's well, here Literally, you can in your own house start anything. Do you understand? Just tell you so, I guess that's friend. a good thing about mm -hmm. the lawlessness, yeah. Because, quite frankly, like I know people that cook and stuff out of their house, but there, there's cockroach in the kitchen. I used to be like all chopping. Do you understand? <laughs> so, that's a good thing, I guess. Who says that? I've loved it, me too. I actually loved it. I'm closer to my family, yeah, so, and it's so beautiful because you know they can always you can always fall back like yeah. if anything is frustrating by the time you have family around you for just one day yeah. or you talk to someone like 90 percent of what you're disturbed about has disappeared yeah, for because that there's, moment. there are people with yeah you. and then they can help you push you drive you give you ideas but you shout at yourself <laughs> it's of course it's necessary sometimes yeah sometimes you need someone to tell you come on you can do it but there, before you have time to start calling family members, if they are not there. And time for me, it was time difference. In fact, okay. as I'm calling my mom to complain, she said, "Okay, I'm going to bed." <laughs> <laughs> so it's, 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 it's beautiful. I love it. Like I get to spend all this time with my little cousins, watch them 
Oh, they're all man. teenagers now, so it's very important that I'm in their lives. Okay, so they're talking about boys and things. <laughs> so it's important. I can't do that from a distance. It actually is true. So yeah, it's beautiful. I'm happy. Me I'm not too. even going to lie. I'm happy. We have some fine baby. Okay. So yeah, yes, guys. That's our one year days. after almost it was almost two years since we graduated. One year. In October. When did we say? It's still September. Yeah. In September, it will be two years that we completed our master's. Then graduation was December. We are masters. You know? Not mistresses. <laughs> masters. Okay, guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also order your sugar and spice cake. Sugar and spice.abj. <laughs> See the name here. She'll insert it. Yeah, Check so us out on Instagram. Wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>